So roughness and glossy, um, right here, if you go to this paint option, then you see your roughness. And if you bring the roughest roughness all the way down, then whatever you, whatever you have selected is going to be glossy. You can see right here, you can see this light. And also it's worth noting that notice how this light you can see, which is an actual reflection of the light. This has everything to do with the environment. So when I use my custom environment, this environment here, oops, um, it's because I want these shaped lights to be on the glossy parts. So that's a little bit extra, but I just wanted to show you the environment is important because if you use any of these and you have a glossy surface, you know, like you can see some of the lights, um, this is what makes like if you're making eyes and you want a round light reflection on the eyes, it has everything to do with the environment. So that's why I use my own environment that I made, particularly for, uh, for sculpting. Bless you. Roughness and glossy. So right now you can see when you kind of sculpt, the characters are kind of glossy. And for me, it's just not very interesting. Uh, you can bring a lot of life to your characters and a lot of character to your characters if you vary the material, like the, the, the surface texture. So for example, for the body, see how I have these lights? I have my lighting set up and you can see these pops of light. To me, it just looks kind of like plasticky and I don't like it. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to turn the roughness up. Notice how the lights change. If I go all the way up, then you just see the light. You just see like a soft light. But as I go down, you can see more of it and you can see more of it until the harder the surface gets, then the more, you know, clear the light source is. So I usually like to go up around like maybe like 0.6 and then hit paint all. So I like this a lot better. Let's see what I have selected. So yeah, I just have the main part selected. So now I'll probably go to the eyes and for something like the eyes, I might go glossy. So I press our paint and I'll just bring the roughness down like that and hit paint all for the eyes. I'll do the same. Turn the roughness, all the roughness is all, all the way down, paint all. And now you see those, those pops of light, but it's different like the the main body is different from the eyes. So I like that difference. Now I'm gonna actually change some of the colors because I think it'll be a little bit easier to see. So let me just take everything really quick, except for the floor. I'm not gonna change to my terracotta color that I like to use. Okay, so I'm gonna paint. So I'll paint the whole thing and unfortunately you can see the lights a little bit better, but uh, I changed everything, so I have to make these glossy again. Glossy. Okay, so now you can see it a little bit better. Let me make this bigger. Maybe that'll help. Okay, so now for things like the teeth. So for things like the teeth and the horns, I might want those the same. So maybe I want them glossy, but not as glossy, maybe a little less glossy. So maybe I'll do something like this, just bring it up a little bit, and then you have that. I'm gonna make these darker. So I'm gonna grab that color and just make them darker. Maybe we'll make them black. No, we'll just go, we'll just go a little bit darker. And for things like these eyelashes, these really thick eyelashes, I usually go pretty dark and I don't want any shine on them. So I'm gonna turn roughness all the way up. So it's just like flat, like so. And maybe for these little hearts, I'm gonna use this eyedropper to grab the color. And maybe I want them to be a little, have a little gloss to them. Maybe they can be like a little plasticky looking. Maybe the same for these. 
So I just like having some variance uh, in the gloss and the roughness. I think it really helps your character. Personally, I like to make everything rough and then add whatever is shiny, add that uh, as I need. But I, gen I, I usually like to have things with a matte look. Uh, even sometimes I make the eyes and stuff with a matte look, but it's just nice to vary. Also, another thing to note, like I was saying before, um, the environment, you can see the things get brighter and darker depending on uh, the environment. But also, there's something else that will affect these glossy parts. So if I tap on the pupils and I go here, in the materials, there's reflectance. So if I turn that up, see how it gets lighter? So that's another way to um, have some control on your environment and what the lights look like when they, uh, when they hit the surface. But I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Hopefully that was helpful. Let me know. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.